Tired of searching for a free text-to-video AI generator that lets you generate unlimited videos? Well, do we have the solution for you. We're going to use Google Collab's text-to-video generator. This free tool lets you run powerful Python codes like Diffusers or VQVAE for text-to-video generation. Now, you might think you need to be a coding expert for this, but don't worry, there are pre-configured and user-friendly notebooks that make it a breeze to get started. Today, I'll guide you through two notebooks that are super easy to use. No coding knowledge required. All you gotta have is your trusty Google account and a solid Wi-Fi connection. Also, if you're into generating cool images without spending a dime, we've also got you covered. Check out the link in the description for our Stable Diffusion Google Collab video. And while you're there, click on the link to the first Google Collab text-to-video notebook that we'll use for our video generation today. For the first notebook, on the right side of the screen, you'll spot the settings we're going to mess with to make things happen. For the content, that's where we toss in our idea, let's roll with dragon flying in space. Now for the style, let's go for realism to cook up some lifelike videos. When it comes to resolution, think of side X as the width and side Y as the height. If you're aiming for a portrait video, enter 900 or more in side Y and flip it around if you're after a landscape vibe. And if square is your jam, just stick with the default 600 on both sides. Stick with the default steps at 100. That's how many times the model goes through the motions to create an image. More steps means more detailed outputs, but it takes a bit longer. Now for the frame step, let's go with the default 100 again. And don't bother tweaking modes or methods, let them stay in their default state. Once you've got these settings sorted, press each playback button on the left side of each code block, one by one, all the way to the end. A little tip to save you some time, if there's code that is optional to run, maybe skip it to keep things moving. It shows you which ones are optional on the right of the block's title. Now let's sit tight and wait, as most code blocks take about five minutes to do their job. Once the code's done doing its thing, keep an eye out for that blue loading sign. Once it's wrapped up, head over to the left side of your screen and spot that folder icon. Click on the output section and don't stress over all those JPEG files, they're just the images used to craft the video. Scroll all the way down until you find the MP4 and that's where our video will be hanging out. Double click it and give our first video a watch. Honestly, it didn't quite nail our dragon in space vibe, did it? Not even close. I did a few more tests, but got not so great results, so I tried to adjust the parameters again. I tried to switch things up for a portrait size. Set side Y to 900 and side X to 600. Increased the steps to 200 and kept the number of frames at a cool 150. And I threw in a curveball and tried out the RN101 model. Look at that. A bit on the glowy side, and the resolution is definitely a step up from the previous ones. So there you have it for the first notebook. Now let's shift gears and explore another notebook I came across. This one gives you more control than the last one. You can tweak things like FPS, number of frames, guidance scale, negative prompt, and more. So let's dive in and see what this one brings to the table. How about lion walking in a desert? Now, we're throwing in a twist by adding a negative prompt to exclude anything like disfigured body, disfigured limbs, because we definitely don't want those in our video. Now onto the settings. We're cranking up the quality by setting the number of steps to 40. Remember, the higher the number, the better the quality. For the guidance scale, it's sitting at 23, determining how closely the output sticks to the prompt. We're slowing things down a bit with 20 frames per second. For the number of frames, we're stretching it out to 120. Imagine it like this. With 20 frames, you get a quick one second video, but if you go up to 120 frames, you'll have a cool six second clip of our lion. Hit that playback button, and as usual, brace yourself for a slightly longer wait due to the extended duration. After a bit of patience, here's what we've got. This one's quite a letdown. It's like a glitched out lion. Let's give it another go using different parameters. The number of steps is set at 33, for the guidance scale, it's sitting at 23. Now for the frames per second, we're sticking with a smooth 30 frames per second and set the number of frames to 90 to get a three second video. Let's run the code and see what comes out. That was a bit odd. It does resemble a lion, but the face didn't make an appearance and its running style is definitely on the weird side. 
Now for a different experiment, we're lowering the number of frames to 60, setting the guidance scale to 15 so that it's more creative and relies less on our prompt, and the number of steps at 70. Let's hit that code and see what unfolds. All right, this one's a tad better than the last video, but it still doesn't quite look real. Plus it's strutting around like it's got some urgent bills to pay. In the big picture, the results aren't too bad, but they're not exactly top notch either. As a free and user-friendly generative AI, it does hold its own. I have to say though, the video quality gives off a bit of a nostalgic 2010s vibe, but it doesn't quite match up to the standards set by tools like Leonardo's Video Generator, InVideo, or Runway. Now, if I had to pick, I'd recommend the second notebook. It's super easy to use and you can tweak the settings. The video quality is a step up from the first notebook. So with a bit more tweaking, you could probably whip up some pretty meme-worthy videos for your channel or projects. What's your take on this text-to-video AI tool? Share your thoughts in the comments, and for more AI tutorials, dive into our other videos. You might uncover something valuable in the AI world. See you there!